And the thing I need you guys to understand is that it doesn't matter how much money you've made from your music, how much money you will make from your music, how many placements you've received or haven't, how big your audience is on any platform, fill in the blank. It doesn't matter if you're getting sync checks in the mailbox. None of this is going to feel real. None of this is going to feel like you deserve it until... What's going on guys, Adam Ivy, sellmusic.com, here to help you go further, faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing techniques and strategies to help transform that passion for making music into a legitimate business that's gonna provide you with freedom and fulfillment. Two of the most important things in life in general, if you ask me. Now, first and foremost, I'll address the elephant in the room, per se, and that's the fact of the matter that I'm at my parents' house up here in central Wisconsin shooting this video in front of a kitchen window because I don't have any good lighting. So, thank God, literally for the lighting, appreciate you, uh, and hopefully you guys enjoy this video nonetheless. Now, this is not going to be some high level marketing video because a lot of you guys don't need those. A lot of you guys think you do, but you don't, and that's what I'm gonna address in this video. It's mindset. It's something that a lot of you guys are failing at, quite frankly. You guys are struggling hard, even though you might not be admitting it to yourself because a lot of times it takes some vulnerability, and it takes some self awareness to understand where you're struggling the most. Now, I help dozens of students on a daily basis when it comes to Sell Music Masterclass, when it comes to my Accelerator one-on-one -on -one coaching program, uh, but I see it time and time again that no matter how great the music is, no matter how ready someone thinks they are to release their music to the world, that self-doubt can stop them in their tracks. Now, it's something that's stopped me in my tracks in the past. It's something that I know a lot of you guys might be dealing with ongoing, even if you're already making money with your music. As I said in the intro of this video, it doesn't matter how much money you're making, it doesn't matter how big your audience is, it doesn't matter if you have placements or you don't have placements, sync licensing, all the different opportunities that kind of stem from music. If you don't have that self-assuredness, if you don't have that confidence in what you're doing, so many times we look at videos, we read books, we listen to podcasts, trying to get to the next level with our marketing, trying to get to the next level with branding, but how often do we look at what we're trying to develop on the inside? How often are we so focused on, our, on building our brand and growing our audience and growing our income that we're not focused on growing ourselves? We sit there and we run in place time and time again, thinking, I'm doing everything I can, I'm hustling as hard as I can, I'm uploading this music, I'm doing this and that, yet you don't feel good about it. You know, I remember my first month making $20,000 in a month, I was miserable. I could go and buy whatever gear I wanted. I could go take a month off. I could do whatever I, I felt like doing. And at the same time, I felt completely unfulfilled. And I felt like I was a failure. And it's something that none of my friends really understood. It's something that a lot of you guys might not understand unless you're in that situation. Money doesn't just magically generate happiness or self-confidence. So many people that are actors, professional athletes, musicians, right? Producers, artists, singers, songwriters. They have some level of success after doing it for a long time, but they still don't know when their run is going to end. Every day, they're paranoid. Every day, they feel like it might be done. My, my, my run was good and it might be done because they don't see that the next year, the next decade has so much opportunity for them. And if they just start sinking into what they are rather than sinking into who they think they need to be, they'd be a whole lot more happy and they'd have a whole lot more fulfillment in their life. They'd feel a lot more purpose. So what do we do? We sit back and we strip ourselves of confidence. We strip ourselves of achievement and feeling like we're worthy when we're looking at other people on social media, when we're reading articles about other people who on paper do the same thing you do, you and I. Could be a producer, could be music uh, creator, could be a fitness influencer for that matter. And then we say, what did they have that I don't have? What, did, what, did, what lucky break did they get that I'm never gonna get? And that's something that's very damaging and toxic to, to our mental space. When we need to focus our time on ourselves, it's so hard to, because it's like, you know, talking to myself here, Adam, like I know that you can go, you know, meditate. I know you could find a mentor, you could find a coach, somebody to really help you get there. But that's going to take investment of time. That's going to take an investment in money. Instead, let's just spend time making more beats. Let's, let's spend more time doing the same. But we never phrase it that way. It's, oh, things will get better. Because mental health, mental clarity, having that purpose and that fulfillment within your life is just like an abusive relationship. If you normalize abuse, if you normalize not treating yourself correctly, then that's going to be your life. 
if you take time to really reflect and be self-aware of the, the holes that are in your life, the things that you're not happy with, and then take time, take money, take effort, whatever resources is really the word I'm looking for, to fix yourself, to improve, to get stronger, no, dif no different than going to the gym. If you're overweight, if you're underweight, if you're not strong enough, if you're, if you're too bulky and you wanna just slim up a little bit, you go to the gym, you get on a healthy diet, you get a personal trainer to help you get there. It's the same with your mental, it's the same with that self-confidence. So many times we look at what other people are saying on our videos, I do it, I do it too, guilty as charged. I read through each one of your comments, try to respond as much as I can. I read the DMs, I read the comments on my Instagram, I read those emails. And a lot of times they stop me dead in my tracks. Recently, I had a comment, I'm not gonna say what it was, but it was about my, my growth on YouTube. You know, and, and well, I just, I just said what it was about, but I'm not gonna say who it was from or anything. This is a troll trying to get underneath my skin, trying to make me feel like I don't belong, trying to make me feel like I'm not worthy of my audience, like I'm not worthy of having a voice. But if you have a voice, if you have a good message, if you have value to give to your audience, if you have value to give to the world, such as music, such as your songwriting, beats, everything that's under the umbrella of music. If you're an awesome guitar player like my, my bro Jay, shout out to Jay. You, you have something to give and you can't let anybody take that away from you. You can't let self-doubt stop you from sharing your gifts. You have to put it out there. Every time somebody asks me, Adam, how do you get good at YouTube? You're so natural on camera. Go look at my old videos. That's why I keep them up on YouTube for the most part. I, I took down some over time that just didn't align with who I am now. But I keep my oldest videos up there just so you could see that I wasn't always polished. And in fact, today I look at my videos and from the self-doubt that we're speaking about in this video, a lot, of the, a lot of times when I do videos, I'm just like there, I'll pick that apart. Oh, I stuttered there. I should have started over. But you guys don't wanna see that, you want the real me. And so I give you the real me over my idea of perfection. That's what you have to do for your audience. You have to give your audience what they need, what they want, rather than what you think they want. If you have 15 videos that you shot in the last two weeks, you're gonna get over being on camera a whole lot faster than 15 videos over the course of five years. That's something that you need to understand. Self-doubt has to be disproven. If somebody came up to you and said, Adam, there's a monster under, uh, there's a monster under my bed. Oh, there's a monster under my bed. As a, as, a, as a child being afraid of something that they don't know, something that they think is real, you can go in there and say, hey, look, turning all the lights on and I'll flip your bed over. There's no fucking monster under your bed and I'm gonna be here to protect you if there was a monster. You gotta be the same type of person for yourself. Nobody's gonna listen to my music, I'm never gonna make it. Uh, I, I hate my voice, I hate the way I look on camera. You're not gonna be able to prove to the world that you're worthy until you can prove to yourself that you're worthy. Tell yourself that you're a lying piece of shit when it comes to those lies and those false beliefs that you're slowing yourself down from, or slowing yourself down with. If you say you're not worthy, you're gonna ultimately believe it. If you say you are worthy and you you prove to yourself that you are, if you prove like, hey, I'm not too big of a uh, wussy or whatever the word, you know, Phil, and I'm trying to kind of censor myself a little bit now more than, more than ever. If you tell yourself, hey, I'm too afraid to upload a video to YouTube, nobody will watch. I promise you, if you don't upload a video to YouTube, nobody will watch. And this video is not about the common sense, uh, you know, lecturing, but what I'm getting at is, you have to understand where those insecurities are coming from. There's a great book, highly recommend it. It's uh, You Are a Total Badass, uh, whatever. I'll, I'll put it in the description box below. Jen Sincero wrote it. I've given this to multiple friends and family members as gifts. All of my students are required to buy this book and read it. Uh, I'll have a link in the description box below. You can also go and listen to it on Audible. Highly recommend it. Just go to audibletrial.com slash Adam Ivy for a free membership. Get that book for free. And if you don't want any other books, cancel the membership. No money out of pocket. I want you guys to understand that you are worthy. I want you guys to understand that just because you started recently doesn't mean that's where you're gonna be forever. I want you guys to understand that just because you started 10 years ago doesn't mean that this is the highest point in your career. Money doesn't mean that anywhere near your apex. I've been here on YouTube for 10 years. My channel has recently blown up when I started focusing on it. When I stopped dicking around with what I thought other people wanted people, and started making the content that I wanted to share with the world. You don't have to be perfect today. You don't have to be perfect tomorrow. But if you do it over and over and over again, you're going to be perfectly happy in the life that you end up with. And one other thing, guys, as I mentioned earlier in this video, 
if you've listened to a podcast, if you've read a couple books already, if you find yourself aimlessly watching YouTube videos and still not being able to find a footing, not being able to find your voice, that confidence, that fulfillment in what you're doing, finding a mentor, finding a coach, finding somebody to be on your hip at all times to help you guide you through those obstacles, guide you through those mental boundaries that you set for yourself. It could absolutely be transformative and very beneficial to you. And I've seen it time and time again. That's why I offer a free call. I'll have it somewhere up on the screen or just go to adamivymentorship.com to apply and let's get you on the right track. I offer a private invite only mentorship program as well as some strategy calls and stuff like that. No obligation, don't need a credit card, don't need money from you guys. Just apply somewhere on the screen. But what I'm getting at is if you don't look within yourself, if you don't seek guidance, if you don't seek improvement, it's never gonna happen regardless of if it's self-loved, regardless of if it's a skill set, such as making beats or writing songs, sometimes just finding somebody who's been there, done that, and can help people and has a track record of helping people can be the de determining factor whether or not you actually get past those obstacles that you're setting for yourself. But I want you to click on this video if you wanna get past the obstacles of growing on social media, building that audience, and if you haven't yet, click that little subscribe button and smash the bell icon so you can be notified first anytime I upload a video just like this, even in my parents' kitchen. Come join me over on Instagram at Adam Ivy, and until next time, thanks for joining me.